So hello everyone and um, welcome to this new video series on learning C programming. Now you might be uh, wondering why is it important to learn about C. C is ma mostly important when you want to avoid the clumsy codes that are found in some languages. Some languages important in many contexts, but C programming makes it a lot easier to handle your resources, I mean the low level machine resources, your memory, in a much simpler way. And if you look um, into further details like what happened after the development of C programming, we have got another language which is, uh, which is a more advanced one and that uses a programming paradigm called object orient orientation. So that language is known as C++. Now C programming is perhaps a subset of the C++ programming language. So in this video we're going to look at how to set up our environment to start coding and we'll look at few output we'll actually create a very simple program that will output uh, output a sentence a human sentence that we can view it on our console or our on our uh, command prompt if you're running this on uh, Windows like me, then you can get several uh, you can get several IDs like the NetBeans or the um, code blocks. Now, if you wish to go for text editors, you can do that. You can uh, go for Sublime Text. You can even go for um, many other editors of your choice, like uh, Notepad Plus Plus. But the point in using an ID like this code blocks or this NetBeans is that you can do whatever you want, especially if you create a project, if you want to create a full-fledged software um, and you want to run that, you want to execute that without the hassle of going to your command prompt, bringing up your command prompt and um, manually building and running that uh, running that project then you can choose the ID IDs help you to write it gives you the ability to write your code on a text editor and it, with just a single click of a button you can build your program you can execute your program and it will uh, even show you where the errors occur now the problem with text editors like the sublime text is that you can only write your code you won't be able to build them on Sublime Text. Sublime Text won't help you to build them. If you make a mistake, I mean, it won't even show you where the uh, mistake is occurring. You need to find that out by yourself, or when you compile that or when you run that, you need to rely on your console or on your terminal or on your command prompt to tell you where that error is occurring. Now, the first thing we need to do is to uh, get either of these IDs that we know as NetBeans or the code blocks. Both are open source, you can get them without any cost. So I'll be showing you two websites where you can download them. The first one is the NetBeans websites. NetBeans supports many other languages like the uh, Java, then it also supports C and C++, it even supports HTML5 and PHP and if you want an ID that supports all of those languages, you can download this 205 megabytes uh, software uh, which supports all these major um, languages. But we're not interested in any other uh, languages, we're just interested in C and C++, especially C. We're going to uh, create programs using the C programming. So you can choose this um, s uh, 63 megabytes um, megabytes software for uh, uh, writing C programs. So the problem with NetBeans is that you'll need, you'll need to uh, use CYGWIN and that's a terminal the which, uh, which has been cre created uh, which gives the environment for the Linux on Windows. So when you need to run your uh, single file of C uh, that you create using C program, you won't be able to do that unless you write your code on this NetBin 
and you compile that using your command prompt so that's uh th it's it's taking a it's like taking a the long path we don't want to do that we want to write our code and we want to instantly test it we want to instantly um you know we want to instantly run that program using our id so the best way to do that is to use code blocks code blocks on uh, if you download this code blocks it's really easy to download and to install it on your windows machine and if you want to download that for other platforms you can do that just head over to code blocks website i'll be posting those links posting both of the links it's just a matter of preference but if you go for creating full-fledged projects I would actually recommend you to use NetBeans but if you're just playing around and if you're just going to test your program for learning purposes then you should choose code blocks but nonetheless it's just a matter of preference you can choose any of them or you, you can even go for a uh, text editor but, uh, but I would recommend you to use, a, uh, use an ID like code blocks now you can download this for any of those platforms you c if you're on windows you can do that if you're on linux you can download that for 32 bits computer or or for a 64 bit computer if you're on a mac you can do that easily so just head over to this downloads page i'll be posting this link on the description part so you can check that out um if you're on Windows, uh, then you can download this um, executable file from SourceForge. Or if you're on Linux, you can choose any of those binary releases. And if you're going for the NetBeans, then choose the uh, one that only supports C and C++. So once you get this code blocks downloaded, and if you install that uh, f and you run that for the first time, you'd get a window like this so wha when we want to create a file that's only intended for a uh, writing C program there is a basic difference Th there's actually a basic difference between a C program file and a C++ program file although both of those languages have a lot of similarities but they do have their own differences C++ is much more of object oriented which means it uses a class it uses um, variables that are encapsulated so we're not going to discuss about these differences I'm just gi giving you an idea but C is far far simpler than C++ because it uses a procedural approach you don't need to go for um, you, you don't need to go for learning classes or you don't need to go for um, learning about the access modifiers that are used to control the visibility of variables or functions so I don't want to confuse you th with with all those terminologies because we're not going to discuss them but it's just the um, it's j it's just to make uh, the differences uh, clearer so let's create a file we want to create a file that will understand and that will run as a C program so head over to file and if you click on uh, new you'll get all these options you can create an empty file you can go for a class now the class part is especially used for C++ as I've already told you um, if you go for um, a project if you want to uh, build up a project that that's going to run as a full-fledged software then you can use this uh, project um, option but we're not interested in any of those we're in only interested in this subcategory called file now there's another way you can access this you can even go for uh, you can go for this new file it's just the same thing it's even easier to access you can go here and you can click on file and it will be presented with all these 